You're watching the Weather Channel. Live by it. Live. You're watching the Weather Channel. Evening edition. People in more than a dozen states are cleaning up from yesterday's massive and deadly outbreak of severe weather. And those tornadoes, combined with the ones earlier this month, are likely to make this October a record setter. We'll have details. The sound of snowblowers echoed across Fargo, North Dakota today. Strong winds have been blowing around five inches of snow that fell in the city. And now that winter storm is headed east. And it will invade the Northeast on Friday, so say goodbye to those summer-like temperatures you've been enjoying. It's going to be much cooler and very windy, and snowflakes will be fluttering through the air in a number of cities. Hi, and welcome to the Weather Channel Evening Edition. I'm Christina Abernathy. And I'm Nick Walker. Thanks for joining us tonight. Well, 24 hours ago, a line of strong and even tornadic thunderstorms was pummeling states from Michigan to Arkansas. Thankfully, things were much quieter today as people began to clean up all of the damage. The skies were just beautiful today in Baltimore, Ohio, but it was a different story on the ground. You could literally see into the bedroom of this home, which was splintered by winds as strong as 60 miles an hour. At least 25,000 people were without power for a time. This tornado, which was wrapped in rain, was captured on videotape by a storm chaser near Champaign, Illinois last night. Severe thunderstorms also dumped hail on the area. Illinois was one of the hardest hit states during the storms. In Indiana, homes were torn apart and people's belongings were strewn about after strong storms marched through La Porte. A tornado was reported just six miles northeast of the city. Officials say a number of homes were either destroyed or damaged during the storms. To call Wednesday, a busy day for severe weather would not at all give the day its due. Here's severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes with a look back on a day that will certainly make it into the meteorology record books. Wednesday's severe weather outbreak was the largest of the year. All told, there were reports of over 560 severe weather events, including at least 20 tornadoes shown here in red triangles that mainly covered Illinois, Indiana, and parts of Michigan, plus a few other states. There were over 400 reports of wind damage shown here in blue squares, and about 100 reports of large hail. These storms covered a wide area of the Midwest. The storms began just west of St. Louis with baseball-sized hail in Franklin County, then moved into the St. Louis area where there was hail and damaging wind. The storms began as isolated supercell thunderstorms, moving across Illinois, producing a family of tornadoes from near Decatur, across Monticello, Illinois, and near Champaign, then up into northeastern Illinois and northwest Indiana. As the storms moved along, they became more aligned in a line form with embedded circulations known as bow echoes. Much like a comma shape, the rotating head of these comma-shaped bow echoes often had tornadoes. The surge area of the bow had damaging winds. At this time, the storms were moving across La Porte, Indiana, where a tornado killed a person and damaging winds struck South Bend. Other bow echoes in the line were also producing damaging winds across Illinois and Indiana. The bow echo continued into Michigan, causing wind damage that produced a fatality in Clinton County, north of Lansing. The line of storms continued into Ohio, where bow echoes in Ohio as well as Kentucky produced wind damage. All told, 21 people injured by the wind damage. The storms continued then across Tennessee, where there was also a fatality due to damaging winds. The storms continued all the way south into northwest Georgia, northern Alabama, and Mississippi. In terms of the sheer number of official severe weather reports, Wednesday's outbreak ranks in the top 1% of active severe weather days over the last decade. Now here are the latest numbers on yesterday's outbreak that Dr. Forbes alluded to. There were 20 tornadoes reported, 100 reports of large hail, and 446 reports of wind damage. During the last 10 years, the most active severe weather day resulted in 624 reports. Yesterday's numbers came pretty close to that. <laughs> 